Good afternoon, you guys. I'm Marlene, and this is Marley Grace Creations. Welcome to my page. Uh, I'll give everybody just a couple minutes to hop on, and we are going to transform this galvanized tray into something that doesn't look at all like a galvanized tray. So, um, anyway, we'll just give everybody just a little bit to hop on. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this while everybody's showing up. And I'm gonna use cashew because it's close to the, hey Carol, let me see if I need to swipe something over here. Let's see, hey there, yay, hi. So you guys, I can see your comments. I just wipe it, but it works. Let me get some of this, these brushes. I just washed a bunch of brushes and I don't need them right now. So I need to get them out of my way. I am going, finally found me live. Well, I'm glad, Carolyn. Hey, Karen. Um, I am going to get some cashew paint on this. And this is a pretty big surface, but I have a pretty big brush. So it shouldn't um, take too awful long, even to dry because it is galvanized. And this is Waverly Paint. And Waverly Paint usually grabs this metal pretty good. And I'm gonna uh, paint the outside as well. And then we're gonna put something on the inside and redo the handles. How are you, Paula? Welcome, you guys. I hope you've had a wonderful day. Did anybody get to go live today and watch um, the Vintage Daisy? She's been coming on my page. And, um, hey, Melissa. Um, I missed her today. I did get to go and watch the replay but I really wanted to go support her today. That's important. Maybe she'll come on though. Do you guys have something exciting for supper? Good day? Good. Every day's a good day, even if it's raining or, you know. I mean, we can have some bad days, but there's so much joy in the world. Okay, I've got some cashew. Let me grab some baby wipes, y'all. I've grabbed some, um, I'm gonna use cashew because I'll show you in a few minutes what we're gonna put in this tray. I almost did a rabbit and I thought, eh, let's just do something besides a rabbit. Maybe I'll run into a Another big tray. Hey, Linda. How are you? I have a friend, Linda Ward, but her last name is not now a Kowski. <laughs> I think I might have told you that already. Thanks for hopping on, you guys. And if you're watching me for my YouTube channel, Thank you for being here. Welcome. The hardest thing about this is getting paint to dry, you know. Hey, Elizabeth. Hey, Miss Jennifer. Elizabeth, I watched you do an angel a little while ago, and I have a similar angel. I've been trying to figure out what to do on her. Hey, Dolores. If your friend from, no, she's not from Niagara Falls. She's from the mountains. We don't get need to get this part in the middle too good. I just don't want that gray to be showing through. Are you from Niagara Falls, Linda? I have never been to Niagara Falls. You know, it used to be one of those big honeymoon things, but I don't know who 
actually goes to Niagara Falls for honeymoon anymore, but that'd be a cool thing to do, wouldn't it? Hey, Carolyn, how are you? That's where you are. Do you actually go to Niagara Falls? Have you seen the falls? Because I know it sounds like a stupid question, but I used to live in the mountains in a um, tourist area, and I never did the tourist thing, ever. Oh, so people still do that. I think it'd be an awesome thing to do. I must have got some water on that because I had washed my brushes. I see it running a little bit. It didn't matter because I'm going to put one more coat. The fall is beautiful. The falls, I bet. Did y'all have a pretty day? We had a gorgeous day here. I got a lot done. I went to my booth and added some lights. And had to go to Sam's and do the dog food thing, dog food, cat food, all that. See, I opened my... Here, the roar of the falls. Hey, Lane, how are you? Okay, I believe that much is dry. Let me get some more on that inside. Where is my paint? Here it is. Hey, Shelly. Let me turn that upside down so it'll be easier next time. I'm using the Color Cashew by Waverly. And it's kind of a yellowy, um, golden, creamy. It makes you think of white, but not really when you get it on furniture. I've done quite a bit of furniture in Cashew. One thing about Waverly, um, it grabs everything really good. It bonds to just about anything. And it's relatively inexpensive compared to a lot of paint. Chalk paint anyway. Hey, Kathy. I just have to be careful until this cures to this not to be scratching it off because it is metal. And I could have took it outside and sprayed some, uh, what am I trying to say, top coat or something on it, which might help a little bit, but I didn't think for what I'm doing here it was necessary. So, I'm going to stress it a little bit probably. You know, I do just about everything, so it's not really going to matter. Hey, Florida, how are you? I'm not doing anything exciting right now. Right now, I'm just trying to get some paint on this surface, on the inside especially, and around the inside edges because I have some beautiful paper to go in here. Hey, Florida, I'm good. I hope you are. Okay, let me get that dry. And my children bought me a new iron, like for decoupaging a Cricut, a little Cricut Mini. I'll show it to you in a little bit. I'm gonna use that for the very first time. And I'm not sure that I know how, so we're going to figure this out together. It can't be too hard. Good. I'm glad, Florida. I'm glad. Hey, Sandra.
Hey Norma, how are you? What color? This is called Cashew by Waverly. And I have it in one of these five, five, FICO, FIFO bottles because it's easier to deal with and squirt out. Sometimes paint, um, do they sell in larger quantities? Um, hey Stacy, they do. They sell um, not in huge quantities like 8 ounce and 16 ounce. But it goes so far. If you use it the way you should, you can really... I mean, I could paint a whole dresser with just a couple of small bottles. And it's... Um, if you're using a paint and it's really hard to get off your hands when you're done, granddaughter has the Cricut Iron. Good. I love it. I asked my children for that for Christmas and they said, Mom... Can we get something for you? I said, that is for me. So, it's this one. This little mini thing. And I thought, well, how am I going to get in corners and stuff? But they took care of that. It's pointed. And it's not on yet. It heats up almost instantly. I tried that a little bit ago. So, I'm going to use that in a little bit. So, we'll get to see how it works together. Let me just touch up a few places. And I'm going to cover the handles with some rope and make that have kind of more of a burlap look. So we are totally getting rid of this galvanized look. A friend of mine called me a couple days ago and she said, I'm at Goodwill and they have this great big galvanized tray. You want it? And I'm like, yes. And I had no idea what I was going to do with it, and I had ordered these papers, and I cannot remember the name of them. It's something daughter like Micaiah or something's um, daughter. I'd have to look it up. Doesn't? No, it doesn't. <laughs> you know, I've had to get out my handy dandy real iron a few times because I'd buy some of these little things and they would burn up and melt stuff. And oh, I've had the worst time with those little craft irons. Now, this layer um, is, well, covering good. I know it's not fun to watch people just paint 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 is it and dry paint but we're going to do a few other things we're just about done and the outside is going to need some paint i'm just going to get a quick i call it an ugly coat which will only take a second on this and then when i go back in a little while and put that next coat on it'll really grab it because it's so thin You guys might love galvanized. I am not a fan of too much galvanized. Now, I love it in the store. Like, if I'm in Hobby Lobby and I see some of this galvanized stuff, I really love it. And I learned in the beginning when we moved here and I lived close to Hobby Lobby, it was so easy to go there and shop. And um, I would bring some certain things home. And mm, that is just not... That just does not belong in my house. Now, I'm not going to paint the bottom. I will paint the bottom, but I won't do it on the live. I'll spare y'all from the bottom. Hey, Donna, how are you? I will spare y'all from the bottom. I can do that after it's all said and done. But I think she said she picked this tray up for about uh, $5 or something. And I have bought these at Walmart. And I'm sure they still have them, but somebody apparently didn't like it and turned it into Goodwill. So now it's my treasure. Okay, there we go. That'll dry on its own. I won't have to do nothing to that. And when I put the second coat, it'll be good. Okay, let me get this brush and some water. Hey, Becky, does this look familiar? <laughs> it's not going to be galvanized for long. <laughs> I picked up um, a thing that I ordered 
the uh, day before yesterday or yesterday, yesterday and thought, you know, it's hard to find big surfaces for that paper. I wonder if that will work. It's almost perfect. So, let me get this good and dry and then I'm going to put some Mod Podge in here and I'm going to show you this. Like I said, I almost did a rabbit, but I decided to do birds. Um, I ordered these on Amazon, and I ha I can't remember what they cost, but they're not much. They're just a few dollars each, and I think I got like six packs, got them in six packs at a time, and they're called, I think they're called FIFO, F-I-F-O. They're really restaurant, um, like they sell them. Um, a lot of people buy those that work in restaurants. So you'll see these like at, um, uh, when you go to like Jimmy John's and um, what am I trying to say? The sub places. You'll see that they have stuff in those. And I'll show it to you in just a minute. But Sandra, go just go to Amazon and fish camps use them. They do for like oil and different stuff. But um, they are perfect for paint. They'll hold an eight ounce, or is it sixteen ounce? I can't remember. Sixteen ounce. They'll it'll hold a sixteen ounce thing of paint. Hey, Lisa. And this will get a little hard crust in it, and it won't squirt out. Just take your fingernail and get that off, and and it will. And then when it's all done, I just um, put them in the sink and soak them a little while and rinse all the old stuff out, you know, dry them good before I put new paint in them. Not always. I have just went ahead and poured new paint. But this is one of the papers. This is what I'm putting in the bottom. Is that beautiful or what? And so that's the reason I chose the, um, um, oh my gosh, uh, cashew. Yeah, the cashew color because the cashew color is more like this. So I'm going to trim this stark white edge off, um, I think. Let me see here. Am I going to need to? It fits so perfect. I don't think I am. Let me look at it good. I don't think I need to. Yeah, it was a pleasant surprise. It is perfect. Hey, Jan. How are you? Let me get this out without wrinkling this paper. Oh, my goodness. It's such a perfect fit. There's no room left to pick at it. Okay. Come out. Okay. So I'm gonna do the iron method for this decoupage. So what I'm gonna do is put decoupage in the bottom, dry it, and then I'm gonna iron that paper in here. And there definitely won't be any bubbles and wrinkles and all that, and it'll be a good smooth surface. And I'm not gonna seal it or anything. Um, I think I've already got the hairs off this. Y'all, when you buy new paint brushes, brand new paint brushes before you start using them, um, take them and just pull at them and make sure that you um, like do all of this to it and pull on it, wet it, wet your fingers and get all the loose hairs out. If not, you're going to have them all in your project. And I mean, you might get 25 or 30, you might get five, but you will get some and it'll just save yourself a whole lot of grief. So let me just get some down here. And I'm going to use a generous coat. And um, all I did was just, um, is that paper the feel of? It is. It's kind of like, um, I don't know. Thin cardstock, maybe. It's not. It's thicker than printer paper. Um, it's not as thick and stiff as cardstock, but almost. But it's definitely not, the can, it doesn't feel like um, 
decoupage paper at all. And I'm just getting a generous coat, and I always do too. And if you get it up on the sides and get it elsewhere, it dries clear, it doesn't matter. Let me just set that aside over there. I'll show you the paper a little closer up in a minute. It's got a, it's kind of got a slick feel, but it's not really shiny. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I guess there's a certain pounds to it. You know, they say like this is eight pounds or whatever, 80 pounds. I don't know how they do it, but. I do think if I were to um, decoupage, like put this on and then put it down and, and um, do it that way, it probably would have some wrinkles and bubbles in it, but not if I dry this. Hey, Cheryl. Thank you, Cheryl. And I'm just using matte only because it doesn't matter. You can use matte, you can use gloss, um, Mod Podge is Mod Podge. And you probably could use, I don't know if you could use the white glue or not. I, I don't know why not. Um, I should have brought the other things over there. I've got one that's got a long rabbit stretched out on one. It looks like a postage stamp. It is beautiful, but I'm kind of saving it for something else. Hey, Laurie. Hi, Renee. You finally got, what did you say? Finally got on live. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Good to see you on too, Carolyn. I went live in a private group last night, and I thought, well, surely she's on. She'll come on, but you must have had other stuff to do. And it's Eastern Standard Time here. I don't know what time it is where everybody is, but it is five after eight here. Hi, hey, Joyce. I can't tell. Nope, it's not dry yet. You just need to make sure you get plenty of Mod Podge down and let it dry good because what happens is that heat reactivates this Mod Podge and brings it up to the paper. And so you've got to um, get enough on there. If not, it's not going to stay. It's not going to hold. Nancy, is 705 there? I have, I've redone my craft room. I'm way not done, but I have, um, my husband's still got a couple of shelves to put up. And so, um, these, I put some more of these too on that shelf and some on this shelf. And I've got a label, a little label maker. And so I have numbered the drawers and I have a little menu book, you know, I think some of you have seen that. And um, that way, you know, all the little junky stuff that's sitting around that you need. Hey, Trish, how are you? The thing is, you've got to remember where you put all your stuff. But I have a, I have labels made for like all my beads. Let that dry just a minute. Let me show you. Some. I've got all my popsicle sticks in here. I've got small, medium. I've got large, medium, and small popsicle sticks. And this one, I've got small, medium, and large beads and flat beads. And then this one over here, I only have one. I still have two empty drawers. And that is a conglomeration of stuff. But this is the method to my madness. This is my menu book, I call it. And so, like, if I'm looking for my rope, 
I look for the R's. And let's see, I look for the R's and I'm looking for rope. I want jute rope and I want flat jute rope. So let's see here, it's in box number two. Let's see if it is. So let me move my little angel. Well, it is not, and now it's in the drawer. Let's let's get something else. I need to mark that off. Okay, ink pens are in ah. Uh, let's see, is that a one? Where's ink pens? Are in number one. So here's my ink pens. So that's kind of what I usually do is whatever little trinkets I need that I can't, you know, instead of having stuff just junked all over the place. Um, I write it down in this, and the reason my jute rope was not in that drawer is because I have converted it to this drawer, <laughs> and I forgot to take it out of my book. But normally, I mean, it's funny, the other day, um, hey Betty, um, the other, it doesn't stay that way though. Oh my gosh, one craft project and pfft, it explodes, but you can go back and organize it. You know, you can throw stuff back where it belongs pretty quick. Um, I know, Joyce, I am enjoying watching that. Are you, I think there's five or six of them now at Miss Jim's house. And um, they are, did you see the project last night where Justin put um, a grapevine up? I love that idea. He put grapevine and put lights in it on her porch. Adorable. Hey, Beverly. I promise y'all I'll be done with this part shortly. You won't have to watch me do this anymore. And then we'll get on with the fun stuff. That is the last part of the Mod Podge. Where's my water? Hey, Lynn. They're in the basement today. I haven't seen any lives on that today. But yesterday, they were in her craft room and pulled all of her cabinets open and pulled all that stuff. Um, there's a bunch of them there. Her name is Jim. J-I-M. Oh my gosh. Miss Jim. Jim, I know it, can't think right now. Um, an old woman making things. And Justin is there, um, Kim from Crafty Porch is there. Um, let's see, gosh, I can't think of who else there. Jim Ellis, J-I-M-E-L-L-I-S is Miss Jim's page. And um, it's also an old woman making things. She's a hoot. So it's Justin, and I think there's another guy and all those girls there. But um, it showed this morning where they made tomato gravy and homemade biscuits and sausage. And the whole crew of them is camped down in the living room floor. They're having a great time. I'm afraid if I don't get this all the way to dry, it might end up sticky. So I wanna make sure, y'all. Oh, and Carol Ruth is there, yes. Do you watch Carol Ruth, Joyce? Do you ever go on her page and watch her? I love her. There's just something absolutely precious about Carol Ruth. And how she can listen to music and craft and talk and keep up the comments. I don't know, but I think that's what keeps her sane. I do once in a while, too. I was watching her the other night. My husband goes, how are you watching her? I said, I like watching her. She's funny. But it would be fun to be there with all them. Okay. I think this might be enough. Okay, let me turn this booger on. Let's see here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and get it as hot as it'll go. Why not? Should I? Why not? Let's get it as hot as it'll go. Let's see how long it takes. <laughs> see how long it takes to burn my hand. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna let it do that. It's getting hot already. It's it's pretty quick. Yeah, it's getting hot. And this is the little handy dandy doohickey that comes with it. So it's your, what do you call it? Your rest. So it just sits right in there so you don't burn yourself or burn your table or whatever. And it, it's hard to turn over. So it's real safe. It's pretty safe. I got a couple of thick spots, y'all. I just wanna make sure. Let it cool off one second. Hey, Barbara. How are you? Okay. I started to cut this little border off, this white border, but I think I, since it goes all the way to the edge. Oh, good idea. Good idea, Nancy. Thank goodness my hand won't be under it, but you're right, it is metal. So, and it really doesn't matter which side is front or back, like top or bottom. Hi, Sherry. Because it's going to be the same. You can turn it however you want to. So, I'm just going to put this down. But, um, isn't that beautiful? Okay, I heard it do its little da-da. So, as my dad would say, spell that. Every time me and my sister, like, make a sound to describe something, he'll say, spell that. He's done it all of our life. Hey, sweet girl, how are you? Okay, and guys, when you do this, use parchment paper. If you don't, you're going to burn your paper. Ask me how I know. Hey, Joni. Okay, so I am going to take Nancy's advice, and I am going to cut this down to the middle setting. And if I don't think it's working, I can always go up higher, so. This is just um, Dollar Tree parchment paper. And you guys don't use um, um, wax paper. You cannot use wax paper. If you do, you're gonna wax paper your wax paper to your project and chances are it's not gonna come off. So, and I just get this parchment paper. It's not quite as thick as the good stuff, but I just pick a roll of this up at the Dollar Tree. And what I always do is start in the middle, and that way your middle is stuck. And no matter what you're doing, of course, in this case, it's such a, let me show you what a clean, I mean, this is crazy. There is not a speck to spare. Look at that in the corners. There is, I mean, it's a perfect fit. Absolutely perfect. That's, I don't get to do that very often. Good evening to you too, Jody. Joni, sorry. Um, so I'm just going to leave that. And you've got to make sure you get the parchment paper. If you're going to go in the corners, get it up past the corners. Did it do its thing? It should be green. Hold on. Let me cut it off one second. It's hot. Oh, there it goes. It's green now. It's ready. It just didn't like how I did it a while ago. So, anyway, like I was saying, I always just go in the middle. What does the title say? Um, postcard. So if I get the middle stuck, then no matter what I'm doing, my project is not going to move around. It's stuck. So make sure when you get ready to get started. And this does have a point. So it is going to go all the way up in my corners and all the way on the edges. 
and I'm just going to go kind of slow and try and get it all because I'm afraid if I don't, I'll probably have bubbles. I'll show you the title in a minute, Nancy. But it says postcard something. And I'm not holding it still because I don't want it to burn. So I'm just moving it, moving it, moving it. I'm going to lift this up just to make sure that that, is, that setting is hot enough. Oh, boy. Now I'll get to get this up again. It's doing good. It Yeah, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, I love the birds, too. I put birds on everything. Birds, bird nests, bird cages, bird houses, bird. I don't know why. I'm just making sure I get all in the cracks and all up against the edges. Now, I'm not going to top coat this here, and I'm not going to do it with a brush because I don't want to give it a chance to ripple up and all that. I'll take this outside the next pretty day, probably sometime tomorrow, and I'll give it a few coats of spray. And I'm sure this is loud. Is this driving y'all crazy? get this up and get it in the other side to make sure I get all the way up against the edge. Hey, Fleeta. Can y'all see? I believe you can see what I'm doing. I'm all the way in the corner and on the edge, but I'm using my parchment paper. Even your socks. Wow, girl. Who said that? I can't. Sherry, <laughs> do you iron everything now? We have a Karen Karen. That's interesting. Hey, Margaret. Okay, I'm going to go over the whole thing a little bit slower. Good evening to you too, sweet friend. Hey, Sherry. Not at all. I iron quite a bit. My husband, he dresses up quite a bit. He irons about every day. I'm going over this a little slower just to make sure I don't miss any little parts. Tesha, how are you? I know they are beautiful. But I don't want no real ones. We had this talk the other night. I don't remember if I was in my private group or in this group, but my husband's stepfather raised them and he gave me a pair. No, thank you. They were, it was awful. So I don't know why I like to decorate with them, but I do. Okay, this should be good. And it all feels, hmm. It all feels hot, so I can't imagine that it's not stuck good. I don't feel any bubbles. It's just as smooth as, as it can be. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. So you could set this up on your kitchen counter, or you could hang it on the wall. You could use it as an actual tray um, from Virginia. Welcome, Karen. Welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have you. Um, okay, I need to get a little bit more on the outside, and we'll wrap these handles. And then I'm going to distress this, but I'm thinking about kind of a a brick red on the edges, kind of like um, 
Hey, Bonnie. Kind of like, um, what am I trying to say? You know, uh, oh, Karen wants to come live. Do you really? Or did you hit the button by mistake? It's showing that you want to come live, Karen. You let me know, I'll hit the button. <laughs> hey, Becky. Rust, the rusty red, or just rust? Hmm. I might, um, enamelware. That's what I was trying to say, enamelware. Let me get a little more on the outside. It's still, mistake, okay. <laughs> Cause it's still telling me, Karen, that you wanna come live with me. Let me just get a quick coat on the outside. And I won't have to fool with that at all and let it dry on its own. Vicki, I like these paintbrushes. They're soft. And it depends on what you're gonna do with them, but they're, they're nice little brushes. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Y'all are sweet. And is anybody else having this trouble like when you put a post to go live? Um, the featured, right beside of like featured, there's a little wheel going round and round and round. I'm like, is it really going out? Is it doing its thing or? So am I the only one having trouble with that? And these handles are gonna be, um, rope. I'm going to wrap these handles and so that'll give it some more brown. Can y'all believe I'm doing so? Sorry, I'm getting a phone call from Greenville. I don't know anybody from Greenville so they can just hang up. Probably spam here at 8 30 at night. Do y'all get these calls all during the day? Hey, Maggie. Well, whoever it was left voicemail, so I'll listen to it later. See, I'll let this outside dry on its own. It's only taking a little more paint and it's gonna be covered good. And if you have never used Waverly, and I'm not an affiliate, don't make any money, not trying to push it, promote it, whatever. I just love Waverly chalk paint because um, it is good, hard paint when it dries. And um, I was getting ready to say a minute ago, I think, if you're using a paint, and you're washing your hands and you really have to work hard to get it off your hands, you know it's gonna stay on your project. Um, I'm going to see the replay. Oh, good, good. And Maggie, all you've missed is, I mean, I've, you know, I've just painted this thing and I'm sorry that you had to just sit and watch me paint, but it's kind of a process. And then I did Mod Podge and put the birds inside and then we're gonna cover the handles and distress the edges. I think I wanna kinda make it look like older enamel wear and then maybe even a little rust. I don't know. What do y'all think? I did a picture not too long ago for somebody and did the red edges like enamel wear. It turned out so pretty. Hey, that is that. That's that simple. And I'm just getting some paint over that Mod Podge and let it dry. So, see, there's a little red in there, just a little bit. 
see the red um, plaid and the red stripes, I should say. So that might bring out a little bit of that red. Okay. I am going to wrap this um, these handles. I didn't turn my hot glue on. Hold on one second, y'all. I need my hot glue a minute, so I'm just going to stick that in there. Well, okay. It should heat up. So when I get through with this, I'll be able to secure this rope. All I'm doing is taking this rope. I tied it to secure it, and I'm going round and round the handles. I just think it'll look so much better being the color that it is. This goes pretty fast once you get started. Hey, Sherry. See what I'm doing? Just, just twisting it around, just wrapping it. And I'll secure it with some hot glue. What do y'all think about the red edges? Should I do red? One thing about it is just paint. Hey, Debbie. See, this goes pretty fast. I've already got about half this handle done. Just go around it, however, and then just push it towards the other side. See, I've got it just however, and then just give it a good tug. Just push it. And then you don't have to be so picky about where you put it. Hey, Heather Dawn. Now the cord's getting shorter, it's getting easier. It's kind of hard at first when the cord, the rope is so long. Hey Kay. I know this is boring, y'all. It's just simply wrapping the handles, but I think it's the look that it needs. Let me get that one tied off, and then I'll do the other one. You can see the difference, how just that little bit, how it looks. See, look at that. See this brown, how much better it looks than that. Just that little bit. And all I do is just tie a little knot to get it started. And then when I get through and my hot glue heats up, then I'll just attach it with some hot glue right there. And it won't go anywhere. So when you first start wrapping, you've got this long thing to deal with. But it goes pretty quick. And then I have a short one. Hey, Joe. I see some new names tonight. Welcome, you guys. If you have not followed me, if you've not been on my lives before and you would like to, 
if you will go up to the top and hit those three buttons touch my nose to get there or whatever um, all you have to do is hit follow and you will simply be following and usually when I go live I say usually because it's up to Mr. FB, not me, um, to get. Where did you, let's see, hold on, Maggie. Use for the background, did it come with, no. Um, I ordered this from a company, and I cannot remember. I'll get my paper and just my cardboard that it came in. And see, it's something daughter. It's like, um... I wish I could remember. I bought it a while back. You're talking about the bird paper, right, Maggie? Um, no, this was just a galvanized tray that they sell this still, or did not too long ago at Walmart. But a friend of mine found this at Goodwill and called me and said, are you interested in this? I'm like, yes. And this paper just, yes. I believe it, Sherry. I believe it is Milton's daughter. They have beautiful papers. They're a little expensive, um, kinda, but they're so worth it to me. They're big and the paper is really good quality. I'll get, I'll still get that package in a minute and show you, um, let me just tie this off and so you can see. So much better. Look at the handles. Don't they look better with that? These papers are beautiful. Give me one second and let me show you the other. Yes, the red stripes behind it. Um, no, it's all one. The red, this is all one. All this whole paper, red stripes, edges, and everything is one solid sheet of paper. One second, I'll be right back. Um, I bought three of these, I think, because eventually I'm gonna have to keep myself one because I love them so much. This is a rabbit. I'll come real close to doing this, but when I find another tray closer to Easter, I will do the rabbit. Here's a rabbit. Isn't that cute? And then, see, this is how the papers come. This whole thing is one. And I ordered, she's, there's tons of them. I ordered this bird nest. And I ordered this set of bird nests, which I'm going to put in a frame for the wall, I think. I like this set of bird nests. And then this one. Um, let me see if my paper's still in here because my, whoa, I don't want it in my paint. Oh, yo. Yes, my packing slip's still in here. Give me a second. And I just keep it in the cardboard that it came in. This is the way she sent it to me. I love the bird nest. And the, she sent it to me just like this in a flat pack. And um, it is Milton's daughter. Brooklyn, New York. Yes. So just go, um, just go on... Just Google Milton, M-I-L-T-O-N, apostrophe S, daughter. Hey, Sonia. And the papers are gorgeous, gorgeous. So you might be thinking you're paying a little bit more for just one paper. It's worth it. I think it's worth it because I, and the paper is, the quality is amazing. It really is. So it's worth it. I have bought some decoupage papers and got them, got, you know, got them in the mail and I'd have one this big or so sometimes the paper, the quality's bad. You just never know. And that's okay. I'll find something to do with them, but I would never order from them again, you know? Okay, this is done. So I need to cut this little booger off. Hmm. Simple as that. I like this. Thank you, Heather Dawn, if you're still on. She gave me this for Christmas. My daughter did. Okay.
I love this color, and I'm going to have to find some more of it because I only have one bottle left. It's barn red, so it's like a rusty, deep red. It's not a red red. It is. Maggie, I love it. And when I'm putting something on edge, I always use one of these little disposable. Well, I'll wash them. I might use them again, but... Um, yeah, this is great quality. It is. I love it. Um, I'll because I always go this way. I don't ever do it this way. And so I need to get my brush and some water, y'all. It's full of Mod Podge. I can't let it dry. I just put a little bit, just a, a big drop on there. And I'm just gonna get it on my edge. See, just a little on one little flat side, almost a dry brush. And then you hold your breath. <laughs> and if it don't work, you just gotta remember, it's just paint. Perfect, love it. Yes, I love it. It is the right color and it's just enough. It's very subtle. See the edges? Can you tell it's through there? It's just a little bit, just enough to almost make it look like enamel wear. Okay, and while my glue tool is heating up over here, let me get these handles set. This will almost be done. It'll be ready for my booth. And it's hard to let go of this. Did you, no, no, Nancy, I never do. When I'm doing like a dry brush and doing something like that, I never, never wet my brush first. And if I do wet my brush by accident or need to clean it, I get another brush. I have I have wet it before. It doesn't turn out. Um, and if you if you try to wash your brush and and I've got paper towels before and got it as dry as I could and then did it, it still doesn't turn out. I just use a complete. And if you don't have these little brushes, you can fold up a paper towel. And just use the flat edge of a paper towel. Let me show you. I've done that before. Um, maybe I was in here and didn't have um, all of my stuff. Just get a paper towel and fold it. And get it good and stiff, about that big. And just put your paint like on that edge. And all you do is just wipe over this with where your paint is. It'll work the same way. Thank you, Kathy. Hey, Kathy, how are you? I didn't see you on. I don't guess I've spoke to you, have I? Um, I love it too. Anything with birds, you know? I love, love, love birds. Let me make sure this is good and secure because I'm gonna cut the thing off here in a minute. And if I cut it and it's not, well, you know what happens. It'll rattle out. And I don't do too many things with these handles like this, but I really thought that's what this one needed. So I decided to go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's see. And I will paint the bottom, but I'll do that later. I won't make y'all watch me. Um, yes, I will take it outside tomorrow, Maggie, and I'll spray it with some 
like 2x or 3x Krylon acrylic, whatever I have, top coat. Um, I could do it with a brush, but it's just too much, and I don't want to saturate my paper. And I feel like if I were to use polyacrylic right now or another coat of Mod Podge, it probably would. I mean, this is paper. Um, it would probably wrinkle up my paper. Sometimes I like for it to wrinkle up. In this case, I don't. I want it smooth. And so I don't want to take any chances. So I love the way everything is, except I don't want to do that to it. So tomorrow I will take that top coat, a clear acrylic top coat, and I'll spray the whole thing. I'll even spray this. I'll spray the sides and the top and the inside and everything. All right, you guys, what do you think? Is that gorgeous or what? That's pretty enough to hang on a wall. It's pretty enough to use sitting up, like propped up on your counters in the kitchen. I just love it. It's pretty enough for a bathroom to put your perfume on. Thank you, Betty. So that's what you can do with the decoupage paper, a little bit of rope, and a find from Goodwill. So... All together, this is probably about $8. Oh, good. Good night. Thank you, Margaret. Thanks, Sonia. I appreciate it. I know y'all would love the birds. I could not decide. And, you know, you cannot see the edge. I was worried about that edge in there being so white that that edge would show, you cannot even find that edge. I mean, it hardly you can hardly even tell it's there. So that was a good color for this. If I'd have done this white or almost white, I think it would have just made this look dirty. So I tried to blend the color. So cashew was perfect. I love it. And Margaret, your question was, Good night, Stacy. Margaret, your question was, what does the inside say? It says, postcard, Whitney made, made in the USA, address only, and there's lots of script at the bottom. Oh, and I know what I was going to do to this, but I didn't do it. I was going to crackle it. I am going to crackle it, so give me a second, and I'm going to, you guys don't go yet, I'm going to crackle this thing. I'm going to show you how simple it is. Let me um, find my crackle stamp. I'm going to use a stamp really quick and some ink, and you'll see the big difference. Hold on. Over there because I can't find the right one, but I will. I have too many stamps in here. I'm back. Hold on a minute. Let me. Oh, there it is, right on top. No wonder I couldn't find it. This is my favorite crinkle crackle stamp, and I'm gonna show you how easy this is. Let me set that out of my way. Don't go yet, Stacy. Don't leave me down. Okay. I'm just using um, archival ink because this is permanent. So it's not going to run or bleed or anything. If I do it right now and then mess with it in a few minutes, maybe it would, of course. But it's got to have time to cure. So by the time I take it outside tomorrow and spray it, it's going to be completely permanent. It's not going to go anywhere. So all I'm going to do is ink this. And this one is called Vintage Photo, so it's not real dark. Hey, Lisa. It's not real dark. And I'm not doing it the exact same all over. I'm hitting and miss, and I'm doing dark and not so dark. So, okay. Okay. 
Hey, Sheila. So, this is, let's see, it's too long that way. I probably could do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it this way. When you do this, you can't let it slide. You put it down. You put one hand on it. Kind of move it around. Take your hand off as your other one's going down. Hey, Faye. And just kind of, the OD sisters say to tickle it. There you go. Okay, there's one part. I'm going to show you the difference. This makes it to me, and I almost forgot. Look at the difference. See, there's without crackle right here. Look at this with the crackle. Isn't that beautiful? It's aged it. So, I'm going to put this aside. And I'm going to put some more ink on this. Now, I could get by with probably using this a second time, but it would be so faint, and it would not match. So, you wouldn't want to do that. Okay, let me get it back over here. Let me just turn it down. Um, you gotta, you gotta hold it still. You gotta just take your time. This is not something you can get in a hurry with. Put your hand down before you lift this hand up, and then pop it up. Now I'm going to do this side, and I'm only going to do part of this because I don't want to use the whole thing. And I'm going to use this part because that's kind of where I have my hand, if that even makes sense to you guys. Vintage photo is probably my very favorite too, especially on something like this. Okay, I'm going to put this sideways. I'm going to hold this part up because I'm not going to need that down there. I'm going to put this down. And I'm just going to move my hands around. I'm sorry you can't see me, but I can't move it. <laughs> Lift it up. Done. There you go. It's that simple. Do you like it better with the crackle or not? There's the crackle. I did this not long ago for a friend um, for her daughter's a, a Christmas present. And it was a bee, a big bee, and I crackled it. It turned out beautiful. And I almost forgot to crackle this one. So, I love it. I love it, love it. Okay, you guys, thanks for hopping on. If you're watching me right now, um, you definitely do, Lisa. I do, too. I love the crackle look. It just aged it, and it's just unique. I love it a lot. Um, I do too, Kathy. Um, but you guys, if you're watching me right now and that live button's there, of course I'm live. But if you're watching me right now, and chances you are, and that live button is not up there, then you're watching the replay. Do me a favor and type in hashtag replay, and I'll know you've been here. And if you have any questions, let me know. I go back usually the same night or the next day and um, go over my comments and try to read them all. So if there's anything I can help you with, let me know. All right, I am going to go work on getting some of these videos on YouTube because I'm like eight behind, I think. Anyway, thanks for hopping on, you guys. Have a great night. Bye.